Okay, so next dish uh, today we're gonna do is some flathead uh, wrapped in some Spanish jamón, which is the Spanish version of prosciutto, so uh, parma ham, sort of. Uh, we're gonna wrap it all up together, almost into a sausage, and uh, steam it and then pan fry it, and we'll just do a little uh, fresh salad with it. So this dish is very much all about the fish and how we, uh, how we look after the fish and the combination of flathead and, and the jamón. Uh, so first step, get yourself four small flathead fillets and four or five slices of uh, jamón. Uh, and you need cling film, plenty of cling film. Uh, it's the real sort of key to being able to wrap things up and keep them nice and tight in the sausage. Uh, so spread out two reasonably large sheets, uh, just slightly overlapping. So now we've laid our glad wrap out. Uh, first start with a slice of hummus, And then another one. Just give them a slight press down and slightly overlap them. Not too much, just very slightly. Uh, next, flathead fillets. So, just want to leave yourself a two or three centimetre space uh, at your first fillet, and then your next flathead fillet next to it, and then straight on top of those is your last two. Uh, just give them a very small season with salt. Don't want too much salt because parma ham can be a little bit salty. What we're going to do is just pick this end up just so it just covers the fillet. Same on the other side. We just want to see how much more we need to cover the fish. So it might only be one piece. It depends on how big your fillets are. So you sort of piece it together. So for us, that one extra piece is perfect. Just give it a press down. And we'll keep that piece for lunch later on. Um, now we need to uh, twist our cling film the other way. And we'll just very carefully slide our prosciutto and fish back towards the end. And this is where uh, glad wrap is the key. Uh, it'll give us a nice tight roll, which is what we want. We would end up wanting to have a essentially a hamon and fish sausage of sorts. So just start off, just pull the end, just start off and give it a nice squeeze. You want it to squeeze it together so it forms a nice tight roll. Keep going. Roll it all the way up to the end. And we're just going to twist in opposite directions either end. So you can see we formed a reasonably tight sausage. Tie a knot in the end. And the same on the other side. And because I haven't got a perfect seal there, I don't want any water getting in there. I just want the flathead to cook in its own juices and use its own protein to bind together and stick together. So I'm just gonna put this into a uh, a Ziploc bag, and we're going to steam it in the bag. And just place that in the bag. We want some, we want as much air out of the bag as we can. So roll your bag up, and when you're almost at the end, just start sealing it. Just leave yourself a little gap at the end, and really squeeze as much air out of it as you can. And then that goes onto a perforated tray or it can actually just go straight on the oven rack in your um, steam oven and steam that at 80 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, to go with our fish, we're gonna do a very simple salad with a very simple vinaigrette. Uh, so for the vinaigrette, just get yourself a small mixing bowl, uh, a little bit of red wine vinegar, 
say 10 mils, maybe even a fraction less. Uh, and we're gonna use some garlic infused oil today just for another flavor profile. Uh, generally, double the amount of oil to vinegar is about the rule of thumb. Uh, don't really need to mix it. Switch that around and just as with everything, a little bit of seasoning. Uh, so that's our salad dressing ready. And just keep that to the side. For our actual salad itself, uh, we've got Whitloff, which is a, uh, a bitter leaf. Uh, Complements fish quite well, so we're not gonna use the whole thing. We'll just pick off some leaves. I'm gonna slice these up finely. Just lay them out flat on your board. Give them a press down. Nice, fine strips. They can go into a mixing bowl. And just repeat with the uh, remaining Whitloff. Uh, next, we've just got some um, coriander leaves. So just a few picked coriander leaves. Always uh, fresh herbs with fish is the way to go. Uh, we have a shallot as well. Uh, just a bit sweeter than onion. So again, nice and finely, especially with the shallot, as fine as you can get it. Probably actually for this, we're only gonna use half the shallot. Uh, red radish, just for a bit of color. Just remove the ends. And again, slice that nice and finely. And we also have cucumber. Um, this is for a bit of crispness and also give a nice fresh flavor to everything. I'm actually gonna peel the outer skin and not use the skin. Uh, you can use the skin for other salads if you like. This is just more a textural thing for this dish. You find it better without the skin. So just peel the skin. So just discard the skin. And we're actually just gonna keep peeling and we'll just use the, the softer inner flesh and just peel it straight into your, uh, into your other salad ingredients. And if you get a little bit of cucumber juice in there, that kind of helps dress the salad as well. Probably only need half a cucumber for this. Uh, don't peel all the way down to the seeds. You don't want the seeds in there. So just the flesh. Give that a brief mix. And we'll dress it at the last minute. Always dress your salads at the last possible minute because they will deteriorate. Uh, they'll cure and won't be as crisp and as fresh. Uh, and just set that aside until the fish is ready. And then we'll pan fry the fish. And so the next step is we're gonna crisp up the prosciutto. So I've got a, a fry pan just over some light, medium heat, uh, just to heat through. Um, of course, we wanna unwrap our uh, fish first. So just open up your bag. And then remove your glad wrap. Use a knife for this rather than try and untie it. And just we'll place it on some uh, paper towel just to catch any of the liquid. Just be a little bit careful and gentle at this stage. Don't want to uh, break apart all our good work wrapping it up. So take your time, don't rush it. So as you can see, the proteins of held the fish together and so we'll just pat that dry and 
and we'll add just a little bit of olive oil to the pan and we're just going to crisp that up. making the, uh, the ham a little bit crispy. Okay. Nice. okay, so now we've sealed our fish. Just gonna leave it in the pan so it stays nice and warm. And in the meantime, we'll dress our salad and plate our salad up. And so I'll just move this across. So we've got our dressing from before. And again, with any salad you do, season it. It'll make your, uh, even just green leaf salad, it'll make your salads taste so much better. Just a little bit of salt, you don't need a lot. We'll just give this a mix. This is a really good sort of shared little entree. Uh, middle of the table type dish. Uh, everyone can sort of just have a little bit of salad and a small piece of fish uh, rather than doing individually plated. We've got a large serving platter. So we're just going to arrange the salad. Just when you're plating up, just let it fall. Uh, don't be too particular about how you put it on. Uh, you know, food's a natural thing, so just let it happen naturally and it'll always look the best rather than playing around with it for too long. If you left over a little bit of juice, just pour that over. Okay, and next our fish. Drop that down there. Uh, because we're dealing with uh, prosciutto and we've crisped it up a little bit, uh, I'm going to use a nice sharp bread knife uh, that'll cut through the prosciutto and won't tear it as much. So just let the knife do the work. Just work nice and gently. Because Flathead's quite a flaky fish, it'll still flake away just a little bit. arrange the fish pieces on top. Clean up your plate, clean up your bench. So there you have it, it's uh, flathead wrapped in hamon with a uh, Whitloff and cucumber salad. <laughs>